Uh, but of course, uh, you left and went back to WCW for a while. Then in '95, you came back to the WWE, but it was a very different WWE. Uh, right. It was one without Hogan and all them. Uh, but they were now being run by a group that called themselves the Click. So, did you ever have any sort of backstage dealings with the Click, or what was your opinion on their uh, control of the backstage area? Thing was, is this. It was Kevin and those guys, and they they rode together like other people rode together, like um, the Undertaker and Fatu, which was Rakishi. I can't remember which one he was at the time, but there was that group of guys, uh, the Godfather, and then it was me, um, Bob Holly, um, Billy Bart Gunn, and Carl Willett. and so there wasn't clicks, guys. And that got this is the thing is that was probably the darkest time in the wrestling business for the WWF. Guys weren't getting paid for months at a time. Um, so when you, that would make sense, if you, things were that miserable, only thing you could sort of pull into were things that were not true, like the click or things like that. Now, they hung together like we hung together, but there, you know, there was no um, – it did not benefit them. You know, they didn't get paid more money because of it. They didn't get any better positions. Their position was already set there. Uh, and when you've got a position set for you in the business, they're going to give you a little bit of time to see if you're going to succeed or not. And they gave them that time and they did not succeed. So, um, and not, no one really succeeded there for a long time because that, again, that, that own history. And I think it's, you know, public knowledge that that was the darkest times of the, of the wrestling business. So for myself, those are the days I don't like talking about. And believe it or not, a lot of people don't ask me questions about my run during that time in the business. And because it was not fun for me or other people that were in the business at the time. Now, I'll give you an example where, you know, if you have to, like Kevin Nash, you know, had become world champ there. And I think Brett was world champ during those bad times. When you're the world champ and you're on top and you can't sell out of high school in Canada and you're working with Brett Hart, you know, that is tough, tough times. 